Hello guys, welcome back to Chirag Digital Channel. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to resolve the edit distance problem in Chirag. So now let's get started. Before that, if you are new to our channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive the latest notification. Uh, this problem is similar to the longest common subsequence problem. Uh, it's basically an extension of that problem. So in this problem, we will be given uh, two strings, uh, string 1 and string 2 and below operation that can be performed on string 1 uh, we will find the minimum number of edit uh, operation we want to convert string 1 into string 2 so we can insert, remove or replace all of um, the above uh, operations at equal cost so let me give you some examples so here i have two string pick and p sec so uh the <coughs> so the edit distance uh, of these two strings will be uh, one because uh we can uh, convert string one into string two by inserting s later and I have another example here I have Sunday as string 1 and Saturday as string 2 so uh, the edit distance uh, to make string 1 become string 2 will be uh, 3 because uh, last 3 and first characters are same uh, we basically need to convert uh, uh, U N to A T U R this can be done using uh, uh, the three operations that I uh, represent uh, uh, before and then we replace N with R and then we uh, insert T and A so here we're gonna solve this problem using uh, dynamic programming so I will have uh, I will be the pointer of the first work and try will be the pointer of the second work here so basically if uh, i equal to try so it means that we don't need to modify anything because they already equal to each other so the operation is obviously zero and then we need to move we need to uh, uh, increase i by one so if we move to here and change by one to check the next uh, uh, index and here for the next two letters they are not equal to each other so uh, we can uh, replace uh, delete or add new character so here we don't know uh, what you should uh, what we should use so we will try the, the three options so here what if we uh, what if we add a new character so if we need uh, if we add a new character we need to uh, add a uh, plus one to the operation and also need to uh, uh, the operation will be stay still but we need to plus chai by one why? because uh, here if I uh, add the to match with this uh, the D character in the work too so here you can see that the, the I the position of I is still uh, at uh, the character B so it will stay still but however because we add character D and they are match uh, to each other uh, work one with work two so we need to uh, find uh, uh, in the world we need to find a character which we match with uh, the character at the eye position here so we need 
2 plus 3 by 1 so here it should it should be here so one more possibility possibility is delete so if you want to delete we need to increase i by 1 and we will remain chai still uh, why we, why we need to increase i by 1 because we will pretend that we don't have uh, this character p in work 1 so we will increase by 1 so i will be here at the character c and then we will compare uh, this character with the remaining uh, characters in work 2 and finally for the replies uh, Here we will replace the character P uh, equal to the character D here. So we will force them to match with each other. So here, because they are uh, equal to each other, we will shift I to the next position and also J to the next position. So we can uh, compare the next character. Here we will have I plus 1 and chai plus 1 this is quite uh, similar to uh, the first one we did that is the two character uh, that are uh, equal to uh, each other but however if uh, they originally match with each other they will not cause any operation but uh, in, if we replace, replace we need uh, we cost one operation here yeah so sorry i just unintentionally delete the bar so let's keep continue so here we replace b with the d right and we will take one operation and i position we move to here and chase we move to here because they are originally uh, uh match with each other so the operation will be zero and we reach the end of the string so we will count again so here a is originally equal to the a in work 2 so will be 0 and we use replace here so it costs one operation so it will be 1 and here they originally match with each other so it could be 0 so it will be equal to 1 so we resolve uh, this problem using a uh, 2D table here. So here we have an uh, extra uh, column and row here is for our base case, and it will here will be zero, and here will be the length of the string. So here we have three words, which means three, and then we count down to two and one. Here also the length of the string string here is 3 and count out 3 2 and 1 and then uh, here if uh, we will start from the bottom here and we will move until we reach here and we will uh, terminate the program so here when the uh, two characters are matched with each other we will take the diagonal uh, number so which means 0 here so will be 0 and then we will move to here and then here and then we will end the program here should be uh, 1 and here will be 1 and uh, but uh, however uh, if uh, two characters are not matched with each other uh, we will we will uh, for example here B is not matched with C we will move to here, here, and here, and then we will take the minimum number. So in this case, it's zero, and then we need to uh, take uh, plus one operation. So here, which will be one, and then we keep continue until we got to here. So here let's implement the code. So here in our main we call scanner object to take input of string one and string two. 
and then uh, we will call we will bring out the edit distance of screen one and screen two. This is the function edit distance. And here in our main uh, function, we will take screen one and screen two as the parameter. Here, firstly, we will create a two D array, and then here we will use for loop to create. A here, this is the last column of the matrix, which is uh, represent the result of uh, empty screen one and screen two, starting from the current row. And below is the last row of the matrix, uh, which represent the result of empty screen two and screen one, starting from current column. This is uh, uh, similar to uh, the table that I explained in the algorithm. And then we will use two for loop here. Uh, here, column is uh, represent for I and row represent for each other, like I said in the algorithm here. And we will check the condition. If character are the same, the solution will be without this character. So if we, the same, we will go diagonal. We will take the number uh, diagonally here. Yeah. And otherwise, we will take a uh, new plus one operation with the min, uh, minimum number uh, when we go uh, right. Uh, down or diagonal, and after uh, we done uh, with this, uh, these two photos, we return the number at the, the end, uh, at the, the beginning of the uh, 2D array. So now let's 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 run the program. So let's take a an uh, simple example, uh, just as the. Uh, uh, algorithm like ABC and then ABC so yeah this will be one and that's the end of this video thank you for watching uh, if this video is helpful for you please give us a like and a comment below and in the following videos I will show you uh, how to solve the matrix chain multiplication problem in Java so see you guys in the next video